saw in some of the plays that you know Chun Li can kind of take this defensive stance, force the opponent in on in on her. But now we have a situation where Nash can probably keep up with fireballs, and if you throw fireballs with Chun, it's just going to give him the trigger. Right, exactly. So he, he's definitely got more firepower when it comes to zoning. We'll just see how it goes. It's going to be the match here. Goichi Chun on the left versus Yukon Nash on the right. Round one. Let's see how the pace starts. Right, let's go. And Goichi, yeah, quick, yeah, quick offense. Immediately going in. Yeah, like I said, it's, you know, I feel like that Chun Li is actually better served trying to get in on that. And the air legs on the other side, it's so tough to deal with. Yukon already teched it early, which is a bad sign for him. He's got to stay solid on defense if he wants to avoid getting opened up by that. Skill at max range. He's got to respect that's negative on block. Yeah, so the challenge. What an EX, so low to the ground. Didn't even get the full hits. Five on that usually, but now you get on offense. Chasing the fireball trade, gets a throw. That's two throws, and then tried to set up a throw bait, but not going to happen. Goichi just jumping back instead in the corner. No anti air there from Yukon, but great positioning for himself. Has trigger on deck, as well as a couple of bars for himself. In the front. Stayed in the front. And he yeah. tried to anti air, but it was just a bit late. It's going to be the pressure. Other side with the jump medium kick. In the front, what a block. Oh, but got hit by that standing medium punch. Goichi was touching buttons. That was a counter hit. Tech again. There's been so many Ooh, of those. What a drop. Missed the air he missed the, he missed the air lightning kick, and that's going to cost him. It's only been a few times that Goichi has it had that input air and just missed it, but a tough one to have in the first round against Yukon. I mean, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people have said that they believe Chun-Li is a pretty high execution character. That air lightning kick, such a powerful tool, but very... Uh, very common to see people missing it. Yeah, easy to have that mistake, especially with nerves when they're kicking in. Mm -hmm. See, slowly back to the corner as Yukon. He's trying to take up that space by setting out the projectile and oh. using that moonsaw. Amazing stuff from Goichi. Again, using the stand light kick, and that's the second time he's used that same mix up. He stand light kick, walks up, and then just does the instant air lightning kick to bait out the throw. And Yukon's been tacky. These situations pretty consistently has to be careful. Can take advantage here, but just back dashes for space. And here, so consistent, oh, there but there's one from Yukon. Finally gets that crouching medium punch anti-air against the lightning kicks. Goes for a third throw, but this time Goichi with the tech. Yeah, good work there to stay solid on defense. Made the right choice. Chun Li still has the speed trigger on deck. Gonna get in there. Oh, what a challenge from Yukon. He gets the critical art. It's gonna be big damage. But started with the light punch, so not gonna do as much damage. Goichi barely hanging on now. And two Great successful blocks. crouch blocks, yeah. Three blocks. Could have been low, could have been overhead, could have been throw, but he survives. Activates the V trigger. Gets out to the other side. Now space to work with. Yukon got to block the EX fireball. Oh, and, and the jab. goes for the jabs, yeah. I mean, because when Chun-Li gets that V trigger activated, you're so scared of that overhead because you can combo off of it. Great blocks from Yukon. He's not out of this yet. He gets space. Ooh. What a read. Oh. He just backdashed. And as soon as he gave up space, Goichi said, I have to get in. Here's my EX yeah, fireball to approach. Yukon had the answer with the scythe. Great work. Just really clutch in that last moment. And we saw that happen to Goichi earlier where his opponent walked backwards and he said, okay, now time for me to throw this fireball. Mm -hmm. Immediately his opponent had to jump in that time. It was the Moonsoul. Yeah, it's just basically, Round you know, one. showing him what they want to see. Backdashing to a range where it's like, hey, don't you think it's safe to throw a fireball? And then telling him, nope, not safe at all. Dash under again from Goichi. He's had in the front, as you mentioned, with air legs so, so many times that I think Yugodon is not expecting it. Confirm. And the oh, reset again. Yeah. yeah, ops for that, uh, you know, that standing reset instead of always going for damage and knockdown. Confirm from Goichi is good. Three hits to the EX legs. I'm trying to, to get, get out of there. Just couldn't quite make it, yeah. yeah not Jabbing, a just stabbing with that towards medium punch. There's that Fierce just sticking Ooh. it out. And the back Fierce trade, he'll take it. Goichi gets the first round. See if Yukonon can make the adjustment. He's been fine so far, oh, but it's two. just been, you know, that, that round was just Chun-Li. Asserting herself in neutral. Faking the sonic boom a couple of times with that stand light kick. Trying to make it look like Charlie, uh, tr that Nash is doing something. Oh, even whipping thrower to try to do the same thing. But, oh, under the other oh. side, great recognition that he could get in there. I was just about to say he walked himself all the way to the corner, which was a bad thing, but then he just made it right out of there. Now Goichi with the EX Lightning trying to push him back all the way to the other corner now. Excellent blocks from Yukon, though. Yeah. Just staying solid on this defense is not easy to do. Especially as Nash has no reversal, can't get out of there easily. It's just gotta block your way out. I saw Nash, it looked like he jumped that cross up there. Oh, the side? side? Wow, just against oh. the ground. It was a read on the air legs, I think. It's gotta be something like that. Now in there, oh, old punish. Yeah, got it close enough. 
Got to be careful about the spacing. Oh, Gets stopped on the end here. Missed that Chun Li jumping roundhouse. So good and not fast enough. Big chance now. Oh, gets out of the corner. What an anti here. He needs one more. Wake up jab, but just checks with low medium kick, and Yukonon steals the round. See if Goichi can stay composed. It's a tough way to go out. Goichi now. Trying to tie this up 1 1. So many jumps from Yukonon to read fireballs. Yeah, but again, you know, we talked about the situation versus Nemo. It's just you don't take that much damage against those standing light kicks. Yeah, it's just the positioning afterwards. If she can convert it, that's where the damage comes from. But, you know, if she's throwing out a lot of those stand pierces and crouch roundhouses, one jump against one of those buttons, you get a ton of damage. And we've definitely seen Goichi not scared to throw out. Oh, got the counter hit on the knee! So he's able to confirm the combo afterwards. Yeah, just did the jab. It didn't even combo now. Pressure. Oh, gets out of there. In the front has the critical art on deck. And you get on a huge lead. It's also going to waste out a lot of this V-trigger for Chun Li. Even gets a setup afterwards. And he is poised to take this game. Great, but he just, just opened him up with a target over, combo. Yeah. Man, just didn't expect it. Maybe expected him to go away or some other yeah, kind of pressure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's just it's that situation where the overhead is the best option. So then it becomes the worst option. Exactly. And then it resets back to the best option. Yeah, as soon as your opponent begins to expect, you know, you know he won't overhead in this situation. I'll expect it. And then, right. well, there it is. <laughs> Springs it out. Ants here early. Great from Goichi. Oh, There's punishable. the punish. Pretty nice damage on that as well as corner carry. Now in there is Yukadon, who just looks so fantastic in this top eight and all tournament long. Didn't get the punish on landing frames, but still, the jump over. And he's going to confirm to a big damage, gets the mini Sonic Boom and backs off. Looks like he was trying to bait uh, Goichi into a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, trying to be See if there's a the X bird or something. Yeah. The X legs now for Goichi gets in there. No answer. V trigger also available for Yukadon. Could have oh, it on nice. defense. The walk back in a four dash throw, but then Yukadon again just going for the EX site. It's really fast, so he just wants to throw it out there. Hope, and even if it's blocked, he can cancel it into trigger and keep himself safe. Other side doesn't confirm it anything big, but Yukadon now out of there. Oh, the, got close enough to be able to punish that. Didn't really do much outside of a standing jab. And now Yukadon running back. Just Building trying to meter. build up meter, yeah. The jump in. Oh, just risked it, but yeah, Koichi didn't go in after her. There's the yeah. fireball with the approach. Got a block. When he gets under with the crouching medium kick, match point Yukadon over Goichi to move in a top three of Evo this year. Yeah, it was one of those situations where Goichi saw that button whip and was like, oh, I need to punish it. Tried to punish it too late, and the low medium kick is going to get under her standing fierce. Yukadon match point to get, like you said, the top three. Guaranteed top three. Another side. And man, just intercepting all the approach from Goichi. Love the block on the other side, too. He just looks so solid now. Defensively, as Nash. Chipping away little by little. Oh, got the counter hit, but just a little too close to be able to combo off of it. Yeah, these straight hits adding up. Although corner positioning now can get the jab medium kick confirm he does. Luigi in great positioning. Midi back fierce and now has pressure for himself in the oh. front again and spends the critical art. Yeah. Couldn't block it and now Yukadon, same positioning we just saw him. Again, bad situation for Goichi. Doesn't have enough meter for a critical art, though very close. But spends it on an EX bird kick. But you know what? I don't know if Yukadon's going to mind that because no critical art for the comeback. Doesn't the matter now. Positioning for Goichi. No ants here. Uses the view reverse. Look it away. And that's going to be enough. He gets the round. Goichi staying alive. Goichi able to chase down the V reversal or the V trigger. I'm sorry. Knew it was coming. Chased it down. Final round. Fight. Able to take that round now. Sight, oh man, he, his spacing on that and the predictions have been so good. And now that Goichi just blocks, he can dash up and take up that space. There's the throw tech. Yeah, we've seen blown him up. with that mix up a bunch of times, and it's been successful, but Goichi is still down in this situation. Counter hit confirmed from Yugodon. So good, he saw it against Joe as well. Dashing up, there's the surprise scythe again, so quick, takes up so much space. Gets oh, under. nice. Last second just got right under there. Yeah, but didn't get a big confirm because no meter for EX legs. It was just light kick legs, but pressure for Goichi. V reversal available, but he gets hit, and now bad spot for Yugen on out of the air. To do the air to Goisa. air, yeah. Still has critical art on deck. Got to be careful if you're Goichi. Any mistake. <laughs> you see Goichi do nothing. Oh, he, what? he whipped the bird? That was supposed to throw? be maybe EX lightning kicks? I'm not sure. You might be right. That might have been the attempt. Critical Arc chip, but there's V-Reversal on that side. You gotta be careful of it as well. Right. Boom is out, anti-air. And he, he's gonna try to he's chip. He's gonna force the chip. Again. Nothing he yeah, can do about it. Absolute kill situation. That was so smart. Genius play from Yukadon. You can't V-Reversal because it's just one hit. Didn't have any meter to get away. That was 
checkmate as soon as he got the anti-act. Right. That, I mean, honestly, that might be the first time that I've seen it used in that situation for the chip. Really smart stuff right there from Yukadon, and he is going.